Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, we are going to start by changing the base of these three log terms. Now, this is going to help us to extract x, that is the unknown, from the bases. The question becomes, what new base are we going to work in? Notice that here we have 8, 8, 4, 2, and 16. And all these numbers are multiples of 2. So it would be best for us to work in base 2. Now, when we apply the change of base formula to this logarithmic equation, we have log to base 2. Remember, 2 is the new base of 8 over log to base 2 of the old base minus log to base 2 of 8 over log to base 2 of the old base is equal to log to base 2 of 16 over log to base 2 of the old base. Now let us remember that log A times B is equal to log A plus log B. The next thing we are going to do is that we will use this identity to expand these two denominators. When we do that, this equation becomes log to base 2 of 8 over log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 8 over here we have log to base 2 of 4 plus log to base 2 of x and this is equal to log to base 2 of 16 over here we now have log to base 2 of 2 plus log to base 2 of x. Now let us write this equation as log to base 2 of 2 cubed because of course you know that 8 is 2 to the power of 3 divided by log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 2 cubed divided by log to base 2 of 2 squared 4 is 2 squared plus log to base 2 of x is equal to log to base 2 of 16 is 2 to the power of 4 divided by log to base 2 of 2, of course, this is to the power 1, plus log to base 2 of x. And at this point, we can make use of the identity that says that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b. To simplify this, 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 and that. So, using this identity, we have that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 3 over log to base 2 of x. Log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 3 over log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2 is equal to 2 plus log to base 2 of x. And log to base 2 of 2 to the power 4 is equal to 4 over log to base 2 of 2 to the power 1 is equal to 1 plus log to base 2 of x. And of course, to further simplify the equation, let log to base 2 of x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes 3 over d minus 3 over 2 plus d is equal to 4 over 1 plus d. Now, to solve this rational equation, the first thing we are going to do will be to combine these two fractions into one single unit. And we do that by multiplying this by that. 
So we have 3 times 2 plus D. When we do that, this becomes 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 3 times D is 3D. Then we have minus. We multiply this by this. 3 times D is going to give us 3D. Divided by, we multiply this by this. D times 2 is 2D. Plus, D times D is D squared. And of course, on the right hand side, we have 4 over 1 plus D. Now, the next thing we are going to do, obviously, is to cross multiply. But before we do that, notice that 3D minus 3D is equal to 0. So in this numerator, all we have is 6. Now, 6 times 1 plus D is going to give us 6 plus 6D. And this is equal to 4 times 2D plus D squared, which is going to be equal to 8D plus 4D squared. Now, let us rearrange this quadratic equation. We have 4D squared plus 8 d minus 6 d minus 6 is equal to 0 and of course from here we have 4 d squared 8 d minus 6 d is 2 d minus 6 is equal to 0 Now we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. Let us use the table method. The factors of 4d squared are 2d and 2d. And the factors of minus 6 are 2 and 3. Since this is positive, then the bigger number is going to be positive. This is negative. 3 times minus 2 is equal to minus 6. 2d times 3 is 6d. 2d times minus 2 is minus 4d. 6d minus 4d is plus 2d. So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are 2d minus 2 and 2d plus 3. And of course, this is equal to 0. And of course, from here, you know that either 2d minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2d plus 3 is equal to 0. When we subtract, or rather when we add 2 to both sides of this equation, we have that 2d is equal to 2. And dividing both sides of this equation by 2, we have that d is equal to 1. And in this case, when we subtract from both sides of this equation, we have that 2d is equal to minus 3. And dividing both sides of this equation by 2, we have that d is equal to minus 3 over 2. So now we found that d is equal to minus 3 over 2 or 1. But let us not forget that d is log to base 2 of x. So we have that log to base 2 of x is equal to minus 3 over 2 or log to base 2 of x is equal to 1. Now remember that when we have equations like this, it simply means that either 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 is equal to x or 2 to the power 1 is equal to x. So we have that either x is equal to 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 or x is equal to 2 to the power 1, which of course is equal to 2. So the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 or x equal to 2. Now, to check our answer, we are going to substitute x equal to 2 into the original logarithmic equation. Let us 
start by computing x, 4x and 2x. So, of course, x is equal to 2. 4x is 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. And 2x is 2 times 2. which is equal to 4. Now, when we substitute these numbers into the original equation, we have log 2 base 2 of 8 minus log 2 base 8 of 8 is equal to log 2 base 2x. of 16. This can be written as log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 minus log to base 8 of 8 is equal to log to base 4 of 4 squared because of course 16 is 4 squared. And of course once more remember that log to base 8 of a to the power b is equal to b. So log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 3 minus log to base 8 of 8, of course, is equal to 1. Log to base 4 of 4 squared, of course, is equal to 2. And 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So we have that the value of x equal to 2 satisfies the original logarithmic equation. And in this case, we have x equal to 2 to the power minus 3 over 2. 4x is equal to 2 squared because of course you know that 4 is 2 squared multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3 over 2. But then you know that when two numbers with the same base multiply themselves, we simply add the exponents. So here we have 2 minus 3 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. And we have this. So this is equal to 2 to the power half. In this case, we have 2x, and this is equal to 2 to the power 1, multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3 over 2. Once more, we have 1 minus 3 over 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1, and we have over 2. So here we have 2 to the power minus 1 over 2. Now, when we substitute into the original equation, we have log to base 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 of 8 minus log to base 2 to the power half of 8 is equal to log to base 2 to the power minus half of 16. And at this point, let us remember that log to base a to the power n of b is equal to 1 over n times log to base a of b. This is n, and this is the reciprocal of n, that is 1 over n. So here, this is going to be minus 2 over 3 times log to base 2 of 8. Minus 2 over 3 is the reciprocal of minus 3 over 2. Then we have minus, this is going to be 2 over 1 times log to base 2 of 8. And this is minus 2 over 1 times log to base 2 of 16.
of course we can rewrite this equation as minus 2 over 3 times log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 times 2 times log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 and this is minus 2 times log to base 2 of 2 to the power of 4 and of course now we can go back to this rule here we have minus 2 over 3 times 3 minus 2 times 3 is equal to minus 2 times 4 this is going to cancel that to leave us with minus 2 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 minus 2 minus 6 is equal to minus 8 and this is equal to minus 8 so you can see that the value of x equal to 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 also satisfies the original logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.